listen to know that through Jesus Christ the Lord that we are given to begin with mercy that He has intended. And Jesus Christ is the Son of God, and is the one who gave His life on Calvary's cross, that men and women by the acceptance of Him and the repentance of the sins they have committed can be free from an eternal destiny in hell. Now God does not want any man or woman to perish, and that is why He has given the sacrifice of Jesus Christ the Lord. Now Jesus Christ being the Son of the Most High God came to earth over 3,000 years ago and we walk among them with the many and 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 the many I speak unto thee this day, and I say that my people are meant to know me as the living God. That is, I am the only God who lives, for I say that the gods of men are dead. And I say when my people will know me as I am, then I say they are able to partake of my life. And yes, they are able to partake of the truth, the strength, and the mercy that I provide. But I say when men will stop looking to me as being alive, and take up their own way, putting on a pretentious show of religion, then know that their hearts are far from me. For I say that I, the living God, never intended that men would live in the religion of pride that they are in. But I say they choose that way because they do not want to obey me. Now I say there are multitudes who claim they love me, claim they serve me, but I say they simply go through the routine of religion, doing as they please. And I say they put on a vain show to be seen, to be heard of men. And I say that their hearts are far from me. Now I say that I the living God when I came and I walked as a man among my own people, what did I find? I say that I found a show of religion while men's hearts were far from me. Now I say this day you are living in a time of great spiritual whoredom and adultery and multitudes have turned aside from me. That is, they've gone according, they've taken up the ways of heathen. And yes, they are loving it so. And I say they have chosen to live in that which I did not intend, nor did I give unto them. And I say they have chosen that way because they have taken up pride. Now I say this day that I the living God do not call you to pride, but I say that I call you to walk humbly before me. That is, I call you to be ever subject to my truth, my life, my mercy, and be guided forth in the same. And I say that I call you to know what it is to be kept, for I am the one who keeps you day after day. For I say it is me, the living God alone, who is the way of righteousness revealed. And it is me, the living God alone, who is the truth, the light, and the mercy provided for all who believe upon me. Now I say this day, be thankful, ever thankful, that I am thy source, that I am thy strength and thy safety. And I say, be thankful that I will direct, correct, and instruct you each and every day. For I say, when you will be receiving with gladness what it is that I give, then I say, you are able to be brought forth. But I say, when any is begrudging, resenting, accusing, and abusing me, I say, they are proven to be fools. Now I say, this day when men are stubborn and proud, then I say, they park themselves in religion and refuse to budge from the same. And I say they go on in their own self-righteous mode, believing they are fine and acceptable when it is not true. And I say it is because they refuse to hear my voice and obey the same. But I say they simply pick and choose what it is that they do, what it is that they believe, and there they remain. Now I say this day, if you will indeed be attentive to the mind of my spirit, I say you will hear me when I call. That is, when I the living God do call you to repentance, you will bend the knee unto me. But I say, when you are caught up in your own opinion as to how great you are, I say you are living in a lie. For I say that I the living God know exactly what it is that is found in men and who they are. And I say, when men are far from me because they have chosen the way of their own understanding, refusing to hear my voice, what do they prove? I say they prove that their hearts are hard, they prove that they are stubborn and proud, they prove they are not worthy of me. I say this day that I the living God do not call you to stubbornness and pride, I do not call you to religiosity and the pretense of the same. But I say that I call you to be ever humble, hearkening unto me, obeying my voice and walking in me. Now I say this day that I the living God do search the earth for the ones who will listen unto me and know me as the living God. 
For I say that my people are not meant to regard me as dead, for they are dead. For I say when the ones claiming to be mine will regard me as dead and not living, I say it is because they have stopped living in me. That is, they have stopped abiding, they have stopped listening, they have gone in their own way. I say this day be thankful that I, the living God, do give to you my truth, my light, and my mercy day by day. And I say be thankful that I do uplift and guide you forth, for yes, indeed, you are mine. And I say you are meant to be ever attentive unto me, respecting what it is that I speak unto thee. For I say it is me, the living God, who does guide you by the mind of my spirit, if you will pay heed to me. And it is me, the living God, who will direct, instruct, and bring you forth, as you will but bend the knee before me. Now I say this day, let it be me that you look to, let it be me that you will believe in and trust. For I say, if you are believing in me, then you are guided in my way. And yes, you are given exactly what you need, for I will give unto you the same. And yes, you will be shown that it is me, the living God alone, who is able. Now I say this day, be glad that I give to you the privilege to love, to serve, to obey me, and be brought forth in me, for I am the I am. That is, I am the way that is truth and light, the way that is mercy and strength, and the way that is peace provided. And I say that I am the one who will be giving unto the ones who obey me all that they need. But I say the disobedient will go on in their own stubbornness and proud imagination to have it their way. I say this day when you truly consider that your own way is the way of death and destruction, the way of damnation of soul, why would you want your way? For I say when men are bound, bound in trespasses and sins, they are in their own way. And I say they are heading themselves down the road of destruction and deep despair. And I say it is only through me and through repentance unto me that they are spared from the same. Now I say this day be thankful that I the living God do offer to the sons of men the way that is my righteousness revealed. And I say when any will be accepting of that way, then they are brought forth and guided by me. And yes, they are given the blessedness, the truth, and the mercy, the strength that I provide. For I say it is me, the living God, who does give to any and all who will hear, who will obey, the way wherein they can be guided by me. And yes, they will be uplifted in that which I give them, which is the truth, the light, and the strength day by day. Now I say this day, be glad to keep believing, to keep trusting, to keep looking unto me, for I am the one who gives you life. And I say, be thankful that through me so are your purpose directed and brought forth. I say, be thankful that through me you are given the hope and the mercy and the purpose of who I am. For I say, it is me, the living God, who gives to my own the way wherein they are guided each day. And it is me, the living God, who gives to the ones who will serve and obey me the way of eternal life. I say this day that I, the living God, never intended that men would go in the way that they are found bound in in these times. But I say it is because they have chosen to be under my wrath rather than my mercy. And I say it is me, the living God, who is, because I am the merciful God, giving forth the call to all men to repent. And I say when I give that call, those who will hear my voice and obey, they will be brought into my way. That is the way of my mercy revealed. But I say for the ones who will stubbornly, proudly resist me and refuse me, I say that my wrath is awaiting them. For I say in the time of my war declared upon humankind, the ones who are not found in my ark of safety through repentance revolution, I say they will be found bound in the furious waters of iniquity as my wrath is raging against them. For I say that I'm thoroughly disgusted with the sins that men have given themselves unto, and the way they have debauched and defiled themselves and contaminated the rest of humankind. And I say it is me, the living God, who is indeed bringing forth my retribution upon them, because they had to have their way. But I say fools they are for the very way they choose, the very way they worship, the very way they stubbornly insist they must have, is the way of their own damnation. I say this day be thankful that I, the living God, do give to you the way of my salvation, mercy, day after day. And I say, be thankful that I do uplift, direct, and bring you forth. I say, be thankful that I give to you the light upon the path. For I say, it is me, the living God, who is indeed the way of righteousness and truth, the way of mercy and hope, and the way that is peace provided. I say, thank me and praise me that you can continue 
trusting, believing, and looking to me. And thank me and praise me that through me you are given the light always. Thank me and praise me that through me you are directed, corrected, and brought forth. For it is me, the living God, who gives to you the light, the truth, the mercy, and the strength day by day. And it is me, the living God, who will purpose you that indeed you are kept by me. I say thank me and praise me, thank me and praise me that through me you are guided, directed, corrected, and shown the light always. Thank me that through me you are instructed in truth, for I will give you the same. For I say that I do not call you to lies, I do not call you to the darkness of lies. But I say that I call you to the light that is bound in the truth. Therefore I say, pay attentive unto me when I speak to thee, for I am the living God. And I say you are meant to hear my voice and obey the same. For I say again and again and again in the days of old, my own people refused to listen to me. That is, they refused to hear my voice, to obey my voice, and to walk uprightly in me. And I say, so it is even now that men think they are so proud and arrogant in their own conceit because they claim they search the scriptures, but it is not true. For I say, they merely take up what they want to believe and remain in the same. That is, they do not serve me as a living God, they do not know the power of my presence, and they do not want to know me. That I say, they simply want their mode, their display of religion, to be approved of men. I say, this day it is foolishness to seek for the approval of men, while you are displeasing me. For I say, you are meant to know me, to love me, to serve me, as the one true God who lives in me. And I say, you are meant to be paying heed unto me when I speak to thee. For I say it is me, the living God, who does give my voice, my call to any and all who will listen and obey. I say this day be thankful for the privilege you've been given to know me, to love me, to serve me, and obey me, walk in the same. I say do not be as the stupid, the dull, who cast off the inheritance in me for a fling in the flesh. For I say when men and women will live in fantasy, I say they are proven to be fools by the same. For I say they take themselves in a way that is darkness and evil, and it is all for naught. I say do not look for fantasy, for the same is nothing but lies. But I say be grounded in the truth that I give thee, ever thankful unto me. For I say it is me, the living God, who will give you the truth and the light upon the path. And it is me, the living God, who will uplift and bring you forth. Therefore I say in an adulterous, a wayward, a perverse, a vile, a wicked generation, be thankful, ever thankful, that you are given the privilege to walk in my way. And yes, you are given the truth and the light upon the path. And yes, you are directed for I to bring you forth. I say this day when you serve me with gladness and rejoicing, when you are indeed able to listen to me rather than the clamoring of your own carnality, then I say you are guided in the straight, the narrow way. Now remember that you live with your own worst enemy, and that is you. Therefore I say, do not cut me off to listen to the fool who once ruled over you. For I say, the fool had you headed to death and damnation, do not return to the same. But I say, be thankful to be guided, directed, and kept in the way that I provide the way of my life. For I am the living God. So I have believed in him. If you abide in my word, you are truly my disciples. And you will know the truth and the truth will set you free. You are from below. I am from above. You are of this world. I am not of this world. I told you that you would die in your sins, for unless you believe that I am He, you will die in your sins.